It looks like I'm rich, but I'm not. It's one of those places where the numbers are big, like Colombia. They give you these big numbers. <laughs> 10,000 pesos and things. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hmm? And 100 more. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. When they think you're a tourist, they try to get you. He thought I can't count. <laughs> I don't speak uh, Serbian, but, and it's my first time seeing this currency, but I was able to tell him I need more. He was already saying thank you. I'm like, no, I need my money. Hello guys, welcome from Belgrade. I am here in Serbia. This is my first time in this country. Just uh, crossed immigration, so I'm about to get out of the airport. So, this is where I'm going, right there. So guys, welcome to Belgrade. I'm here in Serbia. The airport is right behind me, it's under construction. And uh, you have to walk to this little tunnel and then you find this parking lot there. And now he's trying to figure out where my hotel is. You got it? Good. All right. Doesn't seem like they uh, speak English here. Yeah, I might be wrong, but it doesn't seem that way. So it was raining earlier. They told us on the plane. So this is my first time in Belgrade. First time in Serbia. And uh, I'm excited, you know, I'm excited. Let's see what Belgrade is all about. My friend Alex is from here. Alex, if you watch that, you know, I'm in your country. Shout out to you. Let's go, guys. I flew here from Poland. I had the layover in Vienna. And I booked this ticket without doing a lot of research. And comes to find out, <laughs> I get out of the plane and there's like a line. And I'm like, what's going on? I had the very tight connection. And we were delayed. So I get there and I see a lot of people waiting. So I'm like, why do I have to go to immigration? Well, I had to get out of the Schengen zone. So they have to stamp my passport out and then I get here and they have to stamp you in because you're no longer in the uh, European Union. So the airport is under construction, as you can see. They're doing a lot of work here. And uh, I'm heading to my hotel now. So anyways, a couple of things so far. Uh, Serbia is not part of the European Union and it's trying to get there. It's been in discussions for the last few years now and it seems like people are actually losing hope for the first time they did a poll this year uh, since they've been trying to get in the zone and uh, they had for the first time most Serbians that are against joining the European Union so what is going to happen we don't know for the first time in the last two decades, the number of Serbian who are against joining the European Union is higher than those who support it. So they have like, uh, before they had to request like a visa to go out to other countries in Europe. Now they have like a visa waiver. So uh, they're trying to facilitate the movement. I mean, the government wants to join the European Union, but you know, we'll see if you know the restrictions and the requirements are too tight for Serbia to join, they may never be able to do that. But long story short, if you are from the US or you know anywhere else in Europe like that, it's, it's fairly easy to, uh, to travel here. And uh, I'm excited to be here, you know. A new country for me in Europe, new country is great. I had a couple of things planned and uh, with the weather, things are getting canceled. So we'll see what I can actually show you uh, today. both connected you know both countries were connected until I believe uh, 2009 I think when they decided to split one more time already drivers crossing the Serbia Kosovo border must cover up national symbols because Serbia doesn't recognize Kosovo's independence the good thing about not being part of the European Union for a traveler is that it's uh, more affordable you know to go around you know they don't have uh, they don't have the euro 
uh, they have the serpent dinner and I will show you guys what it looks like when I get to the hotel. It looks like I'm rich, but I'm not. It's one of those places where the numbers are big, like Colombia. They give you these big numbers. <laughs> Get 10,000 pesos and things. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hmm? And 100 more. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you don't have change? Okay. Okay. When they think you're tourists, they try to get you. You thought I can't count. <laughs> All right. Yes, go. I don't speak uh, Serbian, but and it's my first time seeing this currency. But I was able to tell him I need more. He was already saying thank you. I'm like, no, I need my money. I decided if I give you a tip, you know? So, all right. Villa Gaspava. This is where I'm going to be. And guys, I found that there's no Uber here. So let's see how it's going to be to get around here. No, it's not being no worries. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. You're okay. <laughs> Uh, where is the check-in desk? Uh, where's the next entrance, sir? Oh, this is a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Next uh, entrance. Yeah. All right. Where's the next entrance? Upstairs, sir. Okay. Thank you. You are upstairs. Are you open right now? Yeah. Okay, because I need to... I need to... Do you know someone who can give me a tour of the city? Because I had a tour book, but the person canceled. And I'm trying to see... It's my first time here. Yeah. So I'm I trying understand. to see, like, you know... The main yeah. things. If you can recommend the tour, or you think the hotel will have information? I don't know anyone, but when manager comes, I will ask him so he can maybe recommend you. Okay, a, a driver who speaks English. Okay, yeah. of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Right here for the hotel. Okay. The cab driver ended up winning. <laughs> he won. Okay. Man. If you have a lot of luggages, you are screwed. Right here? Okay. All right. Put my bags right here. This is an interesting place. I don't see the reception desk or anything. It's just like, I guess I booked in the bed and breakfast or something. <laughs> oh no! 